Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 2.9 from motion in a straight line as per new textbook. Explain clearly with examples the distinction between the magnitude of the displacement over an interval of time and the total length of the path covered by the particle over the same interval of time. So we need to write the relation between magnitude of the displacement and distance. Assume that a body is initially at point A traveling towards point B and again coming back to point A. Then what will happen? In this case, the distance covered by the body is not is equal to displacement. So what we can write? The magnitude of the displacement is equal to 0. Why means initial position, final position both are same. When the body is coming back to its initial position, displacement will be 0. And what about distance? The total length of the path. The total length of the path is nothing but distance. Is nothing but called distance. So the distance is equal to AB plus BA. That is nothing but there is two times of AB. This is for part A. The magnitude of the displacement for this example is zero, and the distance is two AB. While coming to B. The magnitude of average velocity over an interval of time and average speed over the same interval of time. In this same example, the magnitude of average velocity is equal to the magnitude of the displacement divided by the time interval suppose say t that is nothing but 0 by t is 0 while coming to average speed average Speed is equal to total distance travel divided by total time taken. Total distance is number 2 AB. Suppose the time taken is T. Here, in both cases, The second term, that is the distance is more than displacement and average speed is more than average velocity. While coming to show in both A and B that the second point is greater than or equal to the first. Here, the second quantity is either greater than or equal to the first. So in first case, what is their distance is more than magnitude of displacement.
and average speed is more than average velocity its magnitude okay while coming to one more part is given when is the equality sign is true when the equality sign is true so for this part we can write the sign of equality will hold when the body moves along a straight line path in a fixed direction that means in the previous example the body is traveled from a to b and again coming back to a but here in this example body started from a and reaches b alone it is not returning back in this case distance value will be is equal to magnitude of displacement and average speed value is equal to the magnitude of average velocity so if it is moving in a straight line only in one particular direction then both can be same as per part a and part b thank you